Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising, a weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for um, October 15 to October 21st, 2018. So uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign and is not your personal reading. Therefore, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it uh, forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there uh, you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So uh, that set aside, uh, we're going for a four position tarot spread. Now the first position is about the topic of your Capricorn's week. The second position is about the core of the situation, why the topic is happening. Third card is about the challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last card is the guidance that tarot is offering to you. So let's see what you got here. The first one that is going to be the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles, it's a very narrow card. What I mean is the Page of Pentacles is a, a devotion. And that devotion most likely have been recently emerged um, in, your, in your life in general. And when we're talking about the Page of Pentacles, uh, it is very important that you spend the week or rather approach everything that comes uh, around you or comes towards you in this uh, specific week with a, um, <clears throat> a thorough research. Be very meticulous about it because uh, the Page of Pentacles is about a, a long term goal. It is about something that you can and should look forward to nurture and develop with weeks, months and even years of um, of efforts and of toils behind it. And in that specific sense, this card could manifest in many ways, of course, but uh, that could be a, 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 the card itself could manifest as a, a long term project. The card itself could manifest as well as a uh, potential of a long-term uh, relationship but first it needs to start with dating so this is the dating period here that we do have with the page of pentacles but the very least uh, that card offers you a um a sense of stability so uh, you can expect the very least that throughout this week the stability uh, the sense of stability is going to increase you are going to start earning more money or you're going to see the prospects of starting earning more money you know again if you're feeling lonely you're going to see the prospects of being with someone <clears throat> as well but again it's very important here as the page is very systematic it is very um consistent as well pushy stubborn in some cases as well uh for you to be uh unyielding all right about that perspective of yours so uh, as I said that is recently that is something that recently had started so think about if you haven't um, get to know somebody recently that really catches up your eye or you recently had a proposition about job etc etc that you are still wondering about and probably uh, if you make a little bit of a deeper analysis you're you're going to see that that is actually something can present you with future all right that can give you a, a thing to look forward to but uh, again as a topic this is a, a growing uh, comfort and a growing stability, a growing enterprises, undertakings, etc, etc. It does depend what kind of a situation you are in. I will be able to tell you more when I see the second card here. That will be the High Priestess, the core of the situation. So these couple of cards combined Cumulatively speaks that this week is the week where you are going to find your right path, your true path, without you even knowing it even. So uh, this card, these couple of cards also are pointing that you have recently taken a, a very important and accurate decision for your life. 
even if the logic said you other way around all right you let's say that you couldn't stand the situation or let's say that um, you know you felt it other way around and you based your decision on what you feel and for your luck that was the right choice to make because the high priestess points here capricorns that you are guided by your higher self you are guided by your let's say soul and your soul always knows what is best for you what is best for everybody and uh, what is best for it as well so the high priestess here points that after a period of um you know patiently waiting and enduring what is uh, what the life thrones at you etc etc finally your time has come to uh, basically take the things in your own personal hands and here at that specific week October 15 to October 21st you are to, to establish your true long-term goal that will uh, require your devotion it will require your meticulous performance will require your research and reconnoitering etc etc but at the end it will seriously worth it and if we're talking about personal interactions and personal relationships these are pointing to someone that it is completely matchable or rather like completely compatible with uh, with your soul so um, I don't like to speak for soulmates guys but these cards could speak that you have found your soulmate all right and uh, in case you haven't it is because you are not realizing it these cards in case you haven't you don't have someone to interact with these case are point these cards are pointing that your soulmate is within your social circle soulmates does not mean lovers all right it does not mean lovers they do mean people that are completely compatible regarding what their soul requires soulmates could be business partners they could be very best friends as well that is the majority of the cases as well but I, I don't like to speak for soulmates or twin flames etc I don't well I don't want to say that I don't believe in them but this is the one of the very rare cases and of the very rare um, circumstances the tarot are showing soulmate or this is the this is the qualification but the explanation behind it is where two souls are completely compatible with one another so you are going to find it this week and look closer to you or look in your social circle it is there <clears throat> then what we do have is the challenges which are uh, going to cause predicaments <clears throat> and that is the four of one so what we do have here is your devotion all right or the um, the undertaking which is yet to manifest and that will give great results it is uh, the undertaking that you should push through or it is yours to be pushed for a lack of better terms you know this is something you're supposed to do let's say that way I know we do have the four of wands which is kind of quenching one of the properties of the page of Pentacles so what property is quenching that it is a long-term goal and as a long-term goal you cannot expect that the results will follow soon after you initiate so in this case the four of wands asks you to be patient it asks you once again to be meticulous because when we do have a four of wands into a challenging position it means that there could be some important matters that that may be may be left overlooked throughout the process so uh, that being said you have to be very vigilant as well from every single angle of uh, that enterprise or undertaking of yours uh, the four of wands uh, shows us as well that your cycle of development is going to be very very long so it will require a lot of work as a matter of fact I do think that you are here start scr starting almost from scratch and as from scratch is where you're starting Capricorns you have to first build the foundation of it before you start actually you know uh, hoping that there will there will be some benefits for you as well so uh, pretty much these are the predicaments having patience and knowing that in the long run this is going to be beneficial but not in a short term one so uh, that week is also based on these cards it's, it will be also beneficial for you Capricorns not to bet on quick money on uh, friends with benefits type of relationships you know or a uh, 
pleasures that are and that are lasting just for a one moment like drugs and etc etc but you should be rather more focused upon the distant future and what you can do now in this week that will repay itself back to you in the distant future and the last one is going to be the guidance that Taro is offering to you Capricorns this is the chariot card so chariot card first asks you for a great amount of determination also tells us that it's going to be rather tough and challenging for you to make any kind of initiation all right so basically it will require a, a huge portion of heroism here but as long as you are equipped with uh, your iron will your determination and clamorous belief that at the end you know you will prevail there is nothing that you cannot do so what that card urges you is to start preparing yourself for a big jump moving moving forward cut your your past clean what i mean is just forget about your past and focus mainly upon the future and how to solve your problems right now starting one after another don't try to solve them all at once but one step at the time so that was the tarot reading now let's see what the lenormand read uh, <coughs> what the lenormand cards are to say about you capricorns they are about to show a, a, um, a event that you should either uh, look forward to or uh, try to avoid. So the first one, this is going to be the whip and the broom, uh, which are causing conflicts. They are showing either, uh, yeah, conflicts, wrangles, revenge. What we do have the next one is the fox, which speaks for work, it, spe it speaks for cunning, it speaks for um, uh, yeah, kind of like a deceitful person, all right? And then uh, what we do have is the stork. The stork stands for birth, it stands for return, it stands for delivery. So uh, what we do have here, one way that I can think about it, this is about arguing, wrangling about a, a business return, all right? And because I know a Capricorn, I know their personal situations, I do believe that this is what uh, these cards are going to manifest as, that they are going to argue with someone about a business return. These people return into business, all right? This is how I do believe that that is going to manifest. Or it could be that you have found out that someone is lying to you and you're going to bring the return of the lie on the platter arguing about it. So either of those options um, are going to manifest uh, for you Capricorns. And uh, basically what we need to say about these cards is that it is a very, very possible here that you kind of end up on the upper hand of the matter. It is just important when we're talking about uh, these specific cards and taking under consideration the tarot you know no matter how convincing the other side is going to be you should not um, give up on your standpoint that is displayed here with the chariot card no matter how tough it looks like there is always a, a chance for victory and a chance for success so that being said, Capricorns, uh, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15th to October 21st, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, uh, this was a general reading for Capricorn star sign. It was not your personal reading, guys. Therefore, um, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.